Good day, Grade 6 learners. This is Teacher Joy Marie S. Luna. Welcome to our new lesson. Lesson 2. Simple Machines. Lever. A simple machine is a device consisting of few parts used to make work easier and faster by reducing the effort or force used in doing to work. Simple machines can be classified into two groups, the lever family and the inclined plane family. The lever family is the group of simple machines that includes levers, pulleys, and wheel and axles. What's new? A lever is a straight bar that is used to push, pull, and lift things. It has three parts, the fulcrum or the point on which the lever turns, the load or resistance, which is the weight lifted, and the effort or the applied force that lifts the load. Levers are classified as first, second, and the third class levers. The distance from the fulcrum to the load is called resistance arm. The distance from the fulcrum to the point of effort is called the effort arm. There are three classes of levers. Each class has the fulcrum, load, and effort at different positions. First class lever is a lever with a full curve at the middle. The hammer which you use in removing the nail is an example of this lever. The load, which is the nail is at one end. The full curve, which is the place where the head of the hammer and the surface of the wood meet, is at the middle. And the effort applied is at handle of the hammer. Second class lever is a lever with a load between the fulcrum and the effort. In your activity, the bottle opener you manipulated is a second class lever. The bottle cup, which is the load, is at the middle of the fulcrum, part of the opener touching the surface of the bottle cup the effort at the handle third class lever is a lever with the effort between the fulcrum and the load the tongue you use in your activity is an example of this lever the charcoal which is at the end is the load the part which you hold is the effort and the fulcrum is at the other hand a lever is a rigid rod or bar to which a force may be applied to overcome a resistance. It is free to turn about a fixed support called the fulcrum. It is a simple machine used to either gain force or speed or change direction. Crowbars, seesaws, wrenches, wheelbarrows, nut crackers, hammers, bats, balance scales, and thousands of other things that are commonly used are levers or combinations of levers. Some parts of the body, such as the arms, legs, hands, and feet, are also levers. Example of first-class lever is a seesaw. Second-class lever example is a wheelbarrow. Third class lever example is a shovel. For our summary, a lever is a rigid bar that is free to rotate at the fulcrum. A lever has three classes based on the position of effort and fulcrum. First class, second class, and third class. Resistance, R, or load, a force that is being lifted by the effort. Effort, or E, a force that lifts the resistance. Fulcrum, F, the point on which a lever rests or it's supported. Resistant arm, or DR, 
the resistance of the resistance to the full curve. Effort arm or DE, the distance of effort to the full curve. These are examples of classes of levers. What is it? From the short information that you have read about lever, answer the following questions. What is a lever? What are the three classes of lever? Give three examples each of the three classes of lever below. What's more, classify each lever. Write one on the blank if it is a first class lever, two if it is a second class lever, and three if it is a third class lever. What I have learned. Choose the correct word from the box to complete the paragraph below. What I can do. Look around your house. List all the levers that you can see. Classify them as first class lever, second class lever, and third class lever. For your assessment, choose the letter of the best answer. Write your answer in the blank before the number. Number 1. What kind of lever is the seesaw? A. First class lever B. Second class lever C. Third class lever or D. Fourth class lever Number 2. Which of the following is a lever? A. Cutter B. Knife C. Needle or D. Hammer Number 3. It is the point on which the lever turns. A. Effort B. Fulcrum C. Load or D. Lever Number 4. Will it be possible for a kid in a seesaw to balance herself with her mother who weighs twice as much as her? Why? A. Yes. Her mother will have to sit near the fulcrum than her. B. Yes, she will have to sit near the fulcrum than her mother. C. No, she needs to be as heavier as her mother. Or D. No, she needs to be heavier than her mother. Number 5. Which lever is to be used to transfer a load of sand from the road to the yard? A. Trowel B. Shovel C. Wheelbarrow or D. Hammer Additional activities. Identify the name of each picture. Write whether each picture is a first class lever, second class lever, or third class lever.